Welcome back everybody. Suzanne Hall is here joining us this morning because we have some exciting news to talk about with the Chris Kindle market, which is coming up. But before we get to the big, uh, big announcement, let's just talk, explain to everybody what Chris Kindle market is. Sure. So these markets, Chris Kindle market started about 700 years ago in Germany, Austria, and they were, um, everyday villagers would go to their markets in town to get their horses shoed, pick up candles, and the Christmas markets became an extension of these daily visits to the village. They added mulled wine, and it became a celebration that's really transcended the entire world. You'll see Christmas markets in Asia, South America, and here in Des Moines, we've developed our own traditional Christmas market with its own flair. Um, we're not a farmer's market, and we're not a craft show. We're a cultural experience that celebrates the heritage crafts. I love so, that. And how long have you been doing that. this? This will be our fourth year. I was going to say, I'm so happy because after four years, I can now say Chris Kindle Market Yay. without <laughs> <laughs> looking really confused or, or saying it very slowly. You got because it. you have brought this culture to our community in a beautiful way. So yeah, if it's not a farmer's you. market, it's not a craft show, what, how would you describe yeah, this? Yeah, we like to call it a cultural experience because we, we incorporate a lot of different features. We have a, a kinder corner where kids can come and do crafts that are European focused, um, hear stories, do crafts, do a number of different activities. We have Yuletide Hall, which is our um, forest air heated entertainment tent, a number of performances throughout the weekend that we curate this list so folks have different exposures to different cultures. Um, and we bring in heritage crafters, so blacksmith, tinsmith, wood carvers to really show people how things are made. Yeah, if you want to get a nutcracker that was truly carved from wood and created by an artisan, this is the place you want to go. This or is the place to go. If you want amazing mulled wine and cheese that is warmed up for you on a skillet. Uh, not saying that's where I hung out all so day last year. So you came last year. <laughs> you came last year. You were there. She's uh, been there, it sounds like. There's, She's there's, been there. There's something for everyone. But I truly love the trees, how they're all decorated sure. in special ways. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I can. That's actually a new feature this year. Um, we're having a shelter over the trees. So our nonprofit trees will be housed in the Weihnachtswald, our Christmas forest. And we partner with a number of nonprofits throughout central Iowa who decorate the trees. And then market goers can bid on those trees oh. to take home in a silent auction after the festival on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. So and it's a great partnership. And that goes to that particular nonprofit? Exactly, 100% of the nice. proceeds. So be sure to bid online. We're using Bidder this year, so anybody in the world can bid on the tree. Oh, I love that. Right, you don't have to necessarily be at the market to support your nonprofit of choice. Wonderful, okay, mm -hmm. so let's talk about, okay, that's the tradition you probably are used to if you've gone the last couple of years, but there's something new to talk about. The biggest new thing is we're Moving to Principal Park, not the ball field, but the main lot, which is due west of the ball field. Um, market goers will be able to park in two parking lots, two surface lots for free. Where else can you get free parking in downtown Des Moines for a festival? Right. And then they can just walk across the street to um, the main lot for the Christmas market. So that is an amazing new feature this year. And with the expanded venue, we'll be able to grow into this space over the coming years. And we can able we can modify the configuration to make it more cozy and homey and have that real Christmas market feel to it. I love it. Okay, so when exactly is this taking place? Sure, so it's the first weekend of December, um, December 6th, uh, 11 to 9, December 7th, 11 to 9 and Sunday, December 8th from 11 to 5. Okay. And a new feature this year, we have a preview event. It was the night before CDM 2019, and that's on Thursday from 5 to 9. And this ticket is really appealing to folks who want to get into the festival before, before it opens up to the public. Okay. So they know that these hand craftsmanship pieces are one of a kind, and they'll mm -hmm. be gone Saturday, Sunday. So it's valuable for them to get into the market before it opens to the public to get to see those vendors. And they're also supporting our nonprofit so we can continue to have the, yeah. this free event for three days. Absolutely. Yeah, now, something unique. else very special <laughs> that I hope you're keeping with the tradition is you always have a very specialized cup. We do. Uh, that people can utilize. Uh, so talk about that this year. Sure. So we have our mug here today. Um, we again worked with Sabina Voigt. She reached out to us very early in our startup phase in year one. She worked with Rolling Stone for a couple years and is now designing mugs for Christmas markets all over the world. Um, we had our focus this year on the confluence of two rivers. You can see that on kind of on the far sides of the mug with our move to Principal Park. It's the confluence yeah. of the two rivers. So folks can make a donation today of $25 on our website. 
and we'll hold that mug for them and they can pick it up at the festival. We order a limited quantity. So if it's important for folks to get that, be sure to make a donation oh, today. Very nice. And add to their collection exactly. yes. each year. Yes. I love that. There's always an amazing mug every single year and you can fill it with some very tasty uh, beverages of your choice exactly. uh, if you enjoy the Chris Kindle Market. Let's talk about a great website if people need more details. Sure. Visit us at Chris Kindle Market dsm.com forward slash donate if you want to make a donation. And if you want more details on bidding, can we find that there as well? Yes, it will be on our website under, um, I believe it's our nonprofit trees on the okay. parent menu. Wonderful. Yeah. So you don't have to actually, if somebody can't make it to the event, they can still bid on the trees that are done. Exactly. Very nice. Yep. Yeah. Bidder.co is where we'll Very be for nice. that. But you want to be a part of this because it is so much fun and it, it truly is. is a cultural an experience. experience and you're going to enjoy the holidays yeah. in a brand new way. And you in, need gifts to give yes, as you well. Need gifts and in a new way by a brand new location. So this year, yes. heading over to Principal Park. Exactly. I can't yep. wait. Okay, what are you most looking forward to? I know going into four years strong, uh, what are you looking forward to this year? I'm more of a behind the scenes focused person. Not a lot of uh, market goers get to have the experience that I do, but I work with 25 volunteers throughout the year. And I was reflecting on my way over here how much fun it's going to be to set up the festival with them, work with them on the festival. We're a great team. And I think that's reflected in the festival that we're able to produce. Yeah. Um, most of our patrons in our survey say that our volunteers are one of their favorite parts of the festival. So yeah. that's, I'm really proud of that. Wonderful. So, and new vendors this year? New kind of, vendors. Kind of keep expanding every year. We you know? do. We have um, Drei Berge, which is a new coffee place in the East Village. So okay. we will have a dedicated coffee vendor this year. Um, we also have a very strong Danish representation this year. We've had um, the Danish table from Elkhorn, as well as the Kringla Man. Have you guys ever had mm, Kringla? Yes. Okay, right? Amazing. It's an amazing, I don't want to say coffee cake because I don't think that's doing it <laughs> we'll justice. Say it's beautiful pastry. <laughs> beautiful, that you have to very eat. yummy pastry. Yes. A number of uh, two different pottery vendors, and you say they're very different artistically. Um, and then a lot of our new, um, Past vendors are coming back to us. Um, L and L European Delights, those yummy Ukrainian pierogi, really oh, warm yeah. Very um, nice. soul food for folks. Very so it's nice. A lot of fun. So lots vendors. to look forward to yes. at this year's market. Yes, and I love, love the it. fact that it is a, you know a cultural experience and lots of unique uh, items. So yes. hopefully everybody gets a chance. And you've got a couple of days to go check it out. Definitely. Opportunity. And First the weather th looks amazing. Good. The weather looks good so far. Good. Yes. Rain or shine is weather still an this time of year. Experience. That's right. That's yeah. Yes. Plus. So mark out the first weekend in December, but don't forget about that brand new pre-party you can be a part of if you want to get the you know early bird gets the worm on Thursday. All the details, how you can give back, how you can donate, how you can be part of the experience. Go to the website, chriskindlemarketdsm.com. Always great to see you, my dear. Thank, Thank you so you. much you for joining too. us today. Thank you. Great great things to are happening in our community. We're going to continue to talk about them, so keep it here on Iowa Live.